is Tori. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you never miss when I post a brand new video. Today, guys, I'm going to be doing a girl talk. On Instagram, I asked you guys to drop some questions or things that you needed advice on. So I'm going to be answering that today because I know you guys love videos like this and I love filming them. It is 3.08 in the morning and I literally just did this to my hair. So if my part is not straight, please, like, I apologize. But, you know, everything can't be perfect, okay? And that's why I'm here with no makeup on today because girl talks... I try to make them as raw and unfiltered as possible like we're because we're getting to know each other we're getting to know each other and listen you don't even have to be you don't even have to be a girl whatever you identify as this is a talk we're having a talk we're having a chat if any of this resonates with you it resonates with you like, I'm going to be doing a face mask so we can kind of have like a self-care moment so if you have a face mask go put that on okay like we could twin we could really twin so put a face mask on so we could twin and then come back. Well, no, like, watch the video, but, like, we're going to put them on together, okay? We're going to have a little moment, okay? We're going to bond real quick, okay? I know I talk with my hands. I am so sorry, but, hey, whatever. The mask I'm going to be using today is the Teamy Detox Mask. It is a green tea blend that... <laughs> blend that contains matcha lemongrass and clay i love the smell of this and i love all that it does for my skin i wasn't the biggest fan of clay masks up until this point this is the best clay mask i've ever tried i used the aztec one a couple years ago and it really messed with my skin but this is absolutely perfect for my skin the product is natural vegan non-gmo certified cruelty free and it's made in florida and it's also made without alcohol parabens synthetic dyes harmful chemicals and gluten i've used this a couple times you guys have probably seen me mention it on my instagram and i actually really enjoy it one of the like key things i really really enjoy about it is the smell i know that's really strange but the smell is divine like it smells like lemon and i i've just i i like lemon i'm trying not to move that much because honestly my hair underneath here might start showing and if it does i'm sorry but like i literally threw it on just for this video they also sent me this face mask applicator which i think is so so cute and i'm so glad that they sent this to me it's so easy to clean love how this looks i love marble because y'all know my ring holder is marble or if you didn't know that now you know it's really important to not put your fingers in a mask unless they're clean of course but this is just way more sanitary i'm gonna read the instructions to you guys just so you know i don't necessarily follow the instructions but it says you should dampen your face slightly with water and then apply a thin to medium layer on face and neck, allow 10 to 15 minutes for mask to dry, and then simply wash off with water and pat skin dry. If I'm looking behind the camera, it's because I'm putting this mask on. I want this to kind of just be a moment for us to just chill out and talk. A lot of people ask me for advice all the time, and I always want to share. I'm giving you guys a moment to really just get all of your questions you may have answered. And if you want me to like answer more personal questions like you want me to do a QA, and a I can totally do that if that's something you guys would be interested in. And I don't like putting face masks on my nose because it, I tend to not be able to get it out of my nose ring. So that's why I don't like putting them on my nose and that's why I, haven't, I didn't put it on my nose, okay? So now that I'm done with the face mask, I do want to say that you guys can use my affiliate link down below if you'd like to purchase anything from the Teamy website. And you can also use my code TORI20, which will appear right here on the screen, and it'll be down below, of course, to get 20% off any purchase of a minimum of $29. Okay, with that being said, we're going to get right into the questions that you guys asked. So the first the first question was is if I can help somebody with their YouTube, which I, I'm sure they mean like personally, like one-on-one -on -one help them. But I can tell you what I noticed as as far as growth is just consistency I haven't been consistent on YouTube in all of the years I've doing it except for the past few months and I've just noticed a large like peak in growth so I really think it's important to be as consistent as you possibly can about the numbers you're getting on YouTube the views the likes how many subscribers you had make content that resonates with you and then the support will come the support really will come if you're making content that you really enjoy and you're passionate about the love and support is going to come, I promise you. Next question is how to genuinely achieve self-love. And there's this quote that I really, really like. Um, I don't quote it word for word because I can't remember it. You're the only person you have to spend the rest of your life with, so why don't you love yourself yet? That really resonated with me because it's true. You're the only person that you have to spend the rest of your life with. You just really have to realize that you're beautiful the way that you are, regardless of what society says. And it may be hard, but saying affirmations to yourself, like self-love affirmations and just uplifting yourself. One of the worst things you can do for your self-esteem and it'll really bring it down is negative self-talk. Like if you negatively talk about yourself, because I find a lot of people will do that. I mean, I still do that. You know, if you make a mistake, you say you're dumb or something like that. Like 
And then you start to internalize those thoughts. If nobody else is going to uplift you and tell you you're beautiful and things like that, I will, you're beautiful, okay? But if nobody else is going to do it, you have to be the one to do that for yourself. You have to find the things that you think are beautiful about yourself. And we all have things that we like and we dislike, but instead of focusing on the negative all the time, focus on the positive things that you really enjoy about yourself. Advice on the last year of high school. So my last year of high school was online. That was by choice because our school did do like some days online, some days offline. I only took one high school class and the rest of my classes were college courses if you want to go to college definitely take dual enrollment because it'll really set you up for success going into college so i definitely recommend doing that because then you have some of your work out of the way you can graduate from college with an associates while you're graduating from high school which i think is amazing like come on like anybody who's done that props to you and this is your last year if there's events that you can go to for your school oh my gosh that's the biggest one if there are things you can do for your school really get involved and try to enjoy yourself and try to just bask in the ambiance like you're a senior okay but i still went to all the events my school had you know we had a senior trip we had a senior clap out we had things like that they really tried to make us feel special this year um in the best way that they could with you know the restrictions and things like that and i went to as many things as i could because i wanted to enjoy myself and i don't know like stop not doing things you know what i mean like if there's something going on go do it just live life question is how to heal from a toxic and abusive relationship okay so i have definitely been in my share of toxic relationship so i'm sorry if that's happened to you or if that's happened to any of you if you guys have dealt with a toxic or unhealthy relationship especially at a young age that can really like destroy you and but i turn to things like crystals and affirmations and journaling there are prompts that you can look up to write in a journal writing in a journal is one of the best things you can do it's helped me cope with so many things that i've went through whether it be writing a letter to that person that hurt you or you know you can find plenty of prompts i go on pinterest i go on google just write in a journal writing is so good and it's a good way to express yourself and if you want to rip those up burn them throw them away so nobody reads them fine but just getting those emotions out there and if you want to share some of those things with a friend or Whoever it may be, just getting that out and not holding all those emotions in is what you really need to do to heal. Healing looks different for everybody. And I do want to say the healing process is not linear. It's going to have a lot of ups and downs. So don't think that you're just going to be okay all of a sudden. You know what I mean? It might take a while, but it's okay. Good things take time. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm rambling because I'm kind of tired. I'm honestly going to go make me some tea so I can stay up and edit this video after I'm done. How do you stay confident with all this standard society has set? Focus on the positive instead of the negative. Like, you know, what do you like about yourself? Why do you like that about yourself? And obviously there are things people don't like about themselves. And a lot of people have similar insecurities to you. But everybody has things that they're not going to be happy with. And either you change them or you learn to love them. That's my motto. Realize that what you see on social media and on the internet is not what it seems to be. It's not most people don't really look like that okay but yeah what the standard society has said you have to realize that they are unrealistic and nobody really meets those standards except for people you see on the internet keep in mind when you see real pictures like the picture of Khloe Kardashian how she looked nothing like how she does on like social media regularly and she's one of the people that works so hard to upkeep this standard of what women should look like and she doesn't even really look like that so really take that into consideration okay to remind yourself that honestly you're you and you're beautiful the way that you are and however you want to be however you want to look do that do what you want do what makes you happy how to get over toxic friendships but were they ever your friend were they like you have to think about, I think of like friendships and relationships kind of in a similar way because friendships are relationships, they're just platonic, but there is definitely a love there and it should be mutual and you need to be in friendships that are fulfilling to you. You guys should be helping each other grow and it should be a mutual love and if it's not, then that was not somebody that was worth having around. Last question I'm going to answer in this is how do you handle bad mental days? P.S. I love you. I love you too. I like to give myself a day to just really recoup and do what I need to do to make me feel good. So that can really be anything as long as it's positive. Like if I want to lay in bed and watch TV all day and I don't have anything to do, then like I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take the time that I need to really like just have a mental health day. So really just take the time that you need to recuperate. And obviously I'm not like a professional. I'm not like a, a health professional or, you know, a psychiatrist, a therapist, anything like that. So obviously just, I'm just speaking from experience. If talking to people helps you, I'm here to talk. Or if you have a trusted family member or a friend, it also helps to talk. Just recuperating and filling up your cup and doing a, a self-care day is really good for those bad mental health days. That is the end of this video. If you have any more questions, you guys can DM me on Instagram at like Tori Jaden. Also, 
I might make an email that you guys can like email me questions and stuff so you guys don't send it to my business email. Also, don't forget to click the affiliate link down below and use my code TORI20 for 20% off your purchase at Teamy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss when I post a brand new video like I said in the beginning. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.